Well, it's a grey, overcast Monday morning, but I'm out on the mountain bike. I don't know if you can see, but that's it's an old railway line. I've been up here years ago, well, a couple of years ago, I think it was. But I want to try and pick up the entrance to the railway line and follow that along all the way through the forest and just uh, have a mooch about. Yeah, so it's up there, but I'm struggling to get to it. I'll follow this road a little bit further along. I might have to come back and retrace my strips. Some lovely autumnal colours popping out now there. Yeah, might have a better chance along here. Well, here's the bridge, but it's getting, getting access up, up onto it. Can't get up onto it. Whew. Right, I want to have a look back. Take a right under the bridge this time. Steel road this place is. Uh, it's private property now at the back so you can't really get access onto the railway. Which is a bit of a shame. It's right at the back of the houses. Old telephone box. Beauty, beautiful autumnal colours. What we got here? Uh, somebody's house up here, but a look, station house. You can't really. And just go up. Yeah, it's private property. Right, I've been a bit cheeky and just come along. See how far I get. Before I get stopped. It's the first hurdle. Right. I've made it. I'm following the old railway line. So I've got access via this station house at Steel Road unofficially. But, uh, it's a bit claggy, which I was expecting, and I'm not exactly low profile, am I? Bright red. Right. Yeah. Misty and murky up on the hills. The track's not too bad. Yeah. Blockage ahead. An old P-way cabin. Hopefully I can get around this blockage, but I'll have a quick look in here. Yeah, old concrete P-way cabin. Seen better days. Oh. Looks like a dead sheep or something. Yeah, you can get access around. This will have been the bog or something, no doubt. Ah, now the door's on the other side. Watch these nettles. Ah, dodged them. Oh, yeah, it's a farmer's dump in it. <sighs> Must have had a stove in. A roaring fire many years ago. Probably on snow watch up here, trying to keep warm back in the days. So yeah, a bit of a climb. You can see it from you see steel road there, and I've come up along, and now I'm heading in the direction of Rickerton. Let's get past these bales first. Oh, I must have encountered about six gates since leaving. The old station at Steel Road. But I think I pick up the main track, which is it isn't gated. 
a bit further on, there's one more gate to go or fence and then I should be all right he hopes I've just come from the direction where that machine is and this now is the old bed old track bed of the Waverley route to Rickerton and when I go back I'll be back down that way or depends I might follow the the old Kielder branch and come out along the road and then back up to Steel Road on the bike but for now let's continue yeah so the last time I was up this way probably two years ago it was a glorious bright cold winter's morning as opposed to a overcast misty damp autumn's morning but it's good to be out and it's good to be being on a bike this time so last time I walked it it's quite a walk and here's a car here's the rain coming I've just stripped the waterproof off right let's take this long sleeve top off put the waterproof back on weather doesn't know what to do Rickerton looks like they've been doing a bit of track work that machine not far behind us that we've seen before so I better push on a little further like Scots Pines those trees I'm not sure it's trying to dry up a little bit of blue sky showing very little hopefully it's only early it'll clear oh this is split since the last time I was here I'd say that last storm early on this year has battered this lot so we're just approaching Rickerton now that's the road line coming in from Hexham in the east and it's a bit rough here to watch where I'm going okay we've cleared the rough bit you've got the uh, old school house up on the hill and just edge of the platform at Rickerton obviously once a busy junction heading up to Edinburgh but now it's defunct well I think 69 minutes should here we go Rickerton Junction 6th of January 69 closed a long time and as you can see that was the schoolhouse and then there was a lot of like a terrace of houses and houses down here it's quite a thriving community and then when the railway went you know there's only a handful of houses left up there very isolated up here and it's very overcast yeah, big enough sign though so now we're on the, the island platform and this is the southbound platform edge what's left of it runs along a bit further up but yeah the sign's the only that's obviously been maintained hasn't it Whew. yeah the mist is well dropping now yeah it's not really ideal for bikes but we'll continue further on yeah this is all been locked since the last time I was here and I say it's two years ago so yeah no surprise and this is the way I'm supposed to be continuing this looks pretty messy maybe only just this bit god what a mess yes, this lot here has been getting locked yeah, I want to have a look down here down at the old buffy there we go Will's buffy right down by the water I can't remember what it's called now it's got a there's a name of the water I'll have to have a look on, on my map yeah William and the bottom 1967 to 93 he was killed in an accident. Uh, it's very overcast in here, but yeah, very comfortable. The chairs, plenty of sleeping 
locations. There's another room next door. Kada Idris. That's this one. There's your little kitchen area. But, uh, I don't know when. Now there's a bit of wood there. I don't know when it was last used. Recently, that's still warm. Still warm. So it must have just gone. All right, we've cleared that crappy section. So obviously the lorries are coming in and out the, the way that I come in. And that's at the, uh, the witter up end. This road wouldn't be able to sustain those lorries. And uh, yeah, the fog's back, mist. Oh. Warm here up though. I think it's just a, a mile or so down here, a couple of miles maybe. Definitely mountain bike territory around here. Obviously bridge 203 for the original, but there is one this side, but it's, yeah, it's you can't see it, it's unnumbered. No, nothing on it blank. Little stream running below, so yeah, this sign, it was folded over, I just folded it back. 203, same as the one over there, so yeah, clearly, structure, 203. Only bikes a bit, a bit clarted up now. Yeah, proper setting, isn't it? Yeah, we're up on the embankment here. It's quite a bit, a bit of a drop down there. But, uh, either side is a drop. I don't think you can see much today. Another structure sign, 202. Yep, so that tallies up. Every structure has a number. Right, so the forest track continues up to my left, but straight ahead is the uh, the route of the old Waverley. So we'll see how far we can get along this. Yeah, it's a beautiful cut in mine, especially this time of year with all those colours popping out. Whether this camera's doing any justice or not. Where have we got here? Milepost 64, Edinburgh. 64 to Edinburgh. Oh well, I might make it by lunchtime. Not, not on the mountain bike. So from Steel Road, we've done about six, just over 6.4 miles, but that would have also had a diversion down on Wills Buffy. Oh my god, here we go. We've picked up the line of the old Waverley route. Ah, the viaduct. What's this say here? For your own safety, keep to the pathways. Do not walk on the track or the sleepers. Yes, because you'll fall on your backside. Yeah, obviously tried putting a bit of track in. I think we go onto the road here. Yep, there's the road. Ah, that's a wash the bike. <laughs> Some old doors, sleepers, the track. It's been connected, mind, but it's got no ballast between it. Bridge 200. Uh. You're on safety, yep. I'll keep off the shaft. I've got a ballast in here. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while.
old wagons, <laughs> sacks of salt. This will be the old cottage, no stream. Bridge 199. Right liner. <laughs> I don't think so. Ooh, an old pacer thing and a loco. And down there is the way towards Hootrup Tunnel. I don't know if we can get any further up. We'll have a look. An old coach I've seen better days, an old army tug thing and a locomotive I'd seen better days and an old northern pacer have all been made defunct these days right can we get in here here we go we throw up we throw up centre car park there's yeah, some more stuff down here. Oh, oh yeah. Some more paces, some more old units and some coaches. Right, so we've come up from Witterop and I think the track sort of runs along there. This must be somewhere down here's the entrance of the tunnel. Because obviously there's a few signs up here. This used tunnel, risk of unstable ground. So we must be somewhere in this location. I'm heading up, cycling up to this viewpoint. So I've come up from the uh, the old station house at Wittrup. So there's little bits fenced off, pockets obviously collapsed over the years. I don't know how long or how far this tunnel runs for, but I think it's quite a bit. Which rope tunnel? Yeah, it's hard to see on here. So it goes, it goes quite a bit. Heard a man there. So basically, I'm on top of it. That's us back on the road again. Leaving which rope. I met a guy up there in the forest and he said follow this road up to the the crest sort of thing there's the tunnel entrance over there and there's a right hand turn and I can uh, pick up a forest track and that'll head us back towards the Rickerton area we'll give that a go yeah you can just see the tunnel portal over there but there's not much to see because it's all trees Sign three mile Rickerton Junction, Wittrup Forest. And we're back on the forest trail. Okay, it's starting to clear a bit now. So I come from out of that cutting across that bridge and then at the old station of Wittrup. I went up that track there and I went up to so the mounds there and turned back and I've pumped the road onto the forest track. But yeah, the tunnel. I think it's just before that house, you can see sort of a mound there, so I think it's it's in there somewhere. Alright, coming in to the side of Rickerton now, from the top by the schoolhouse, and then drop down to the path. I think. Oh yeah, here's the house here. Oh! Quite a big building from the top there the school the schoolmaster's house was it it's difficult to film but this road because it's all over the place yeah there's the other side of the station now you see the platform Oh, hey, it's rough. 
and if I can go left this time now taking this left turning out of Rickerton now following the old line that went to Kielder and then through to Hexham obviously they've been doing some work on this this track so there must be some trees coming out see how far we get yeah that's where we've come before hopefully we can do a big loop come back out somewhere else conditions are pretty bad it's rough as hell here oh surely this isn't it this the end of the road Yeah, I've just checked the map, it is still part of the uh, the line, so we'll try and batter our way through there, see where it brings us out. So clearly on the right track, an old overbridge, long since gone, but oh, look ahead. It looks pretty grim, right? Let's try and battle on. Oh, that's tough, not advisable from Rickerton. All these bushes have all grown up and it's an absolute mare, unless you've got a saw fallen trees and that but hopefully once I get out this cutting I should be able to get the fields and then the roads runs parallel further down the hill so hopefully I can pick it up but so far and I uh, found the biggest puddle soaked right onwards oh that was tough I'm out of the worst I didn't fancy going back retracing my steps but the uh, worrying thing is now I'm on obviously a farmer's field well it's become a farmer's field because there's cow hooves everywhere but there has been people down here on a bike because I've seen bike trails so and they must have had the same issue as me but uh, god that was tough going just because it was sort of unpassable and just a bog I still haven't got out of it completely got a bit of a collapsed tree there but nothing to what I've had right yeah there's obviously getting cows up this end and it's still very wet underfoot hopefully I will find a way out of here right sort of opening up a bit now there's another gate down there that we'll get across and hopefully it'll drop us down the road it's just down there so Fingers crossed. No, this is definitely better. Compared to what I've just been through. <laughs> All right, I could have ducked out back there, but I'm gonna continue. And then this little bed follows around to sortry and then the road. So hopefully I can get out there. But uh, I just, so I'll just keep going. Keep it going. I mean, this is not too bad, is it? Perfect compared to what we've just had. Another gate. It's trying to clear up. Okay. Saw tree with its own railway. And its own engine. Yep. I think this is a, a guest house, bed and breakfast type thing. I don't know when the trains run like. <laughs> oh, look at this down here. This is going to be interesting. Right, here is the old station at Sawtree with trains. I'm just wondering if I can get out this way. I'm hoping. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Old engine, Meg of Saw Tree. <laughs> right, there's a bit of a crossing here that can dive out and then disappear away. Yeah, it's only a short section of rail, old brake van there, look. Come back out.
VIP way type cabin. And there's the road where I've uh, got to head back up. Where'd that wind come from? Oh, look at them sheep here. Get out of the way. Pretty lively. Well, old signage for you, rough sides. Saw tree station. I might even stop here and have. What a lunch. Yeah, bit of tuna for lunch. Yeah, so the railway, this is about a bridge. So that mound there, this was a bridge across. There's some footings left just here. You can just see there. Uh, so there must have been some kind of structure across here that saw a tree. Yeah. <coughs> see there. So that must have went up and across this side, and this has all been built up as well. Nice old church tucked away. the road to Kielder that way. Kielder Forest 7, Kielder Water 9. I don't know where this wind's come from but certainly appeared. Now that tree there, it's very yellow. Ah. Now the uphill section, that's us back just over 18 miles and the rain sort of come on and it's gone again but yeah, we started down there and the ball went up for us and I've been right down there and back around again. It's just a great big loop, but I managed to follow the rail line or the old rail line from Steel Road through to Whitrup, back through the forest, pick up the uh, the Hexham branch at uh, Rickerton, followed that as far as Saw Tree and then, then back by road, which is the best I can do. But that was a real tough section after Rickerton to saw tree. Not for the faint hearted. Anyhow, that's us done. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out again.